end of their lives without having these truths tested, without ever losing a grip on the things they've always counted on, without feeling that deeply disconcerting sense of their world crumbling around them. I'm not one of those people. In this scene, the sister to the brother who this book is about, the sister who sort of does the betrayal is reflecting on what she's done and what effect that has had on her family. Um, one thing I think about is how childhood hurts often become adult traumas if they're unresolved. Um, and I think that, I feel like there's a lot of that in this story. So in addition to talking about rape culture in the story, what's that thing about family and friendships? Because there were a number of friendships, sister to, um, sister to siblings, um, between girlfriends, between boys, between um, different people, people in different social, in different social groups. What was important about capturing and sharing that for you? Um, well, with the family in particular, I think um, family narrative of um, our experience of trauma usually shapes how we we move forward from it, right? And whether or not we talk about it honestly uh, is what determines what happens in the future and how, if, if, how and if we heal, right? So I wanted to put this story within the, you know, the family relationships in, because I wanted to show how deep it goes, how deep this, this, this loyalty for men goes and where it usually begins, right? I mean, you know, you see at the beginning of the book, she talks about, she begins with the birth, with her, father, uh, her brother's birth, right? We were at a book talk uh, at a school and um, I read the beginning of the book and the boys were saying, well, what does him being a, a baby have anything to do with the, the story? And I, it was important for me to say that men are celebrated a lot of the time, even before they're born or right at birth, right? When we find out that a boy has been born into the family, um, the story of the family changes a lot of the time. So um, I wanted to play the relationships. Uh, I wanted to kind of have a very clear, very, very vivid picture of the relationships within the family because those are what what determine what kind of man he becomes. And also, um, they help us understand how, um, how he could have done what he did and, and, and the dilemma that the sister has in telling or not telling. Um, and the, the biggest problem that I had with the book, uh, I, I, it took me a long time, it took me three drafts to write it because I couldn't get this one thing right. And in the end, when it won the Percy Fitzpatrick uh, Award, they said that was the thing that like, got it to win the award. But what I struggled with was I really, really needed the reader to love the brother from the very beginning. It was important to me because if you didn't love the brother, um, then you wouldn't understand her dilemma as much. You couldn't take the journey with her um, to the end. So yeah, family relationships are very much at the center of this. And I think that came through very strongly. So the brother is accused of rape. The sister actually witnesses him commit the crime. And, but she loves her brother, so she's, she's torn. And this concept of ride or die and, and how far you're able, you go when there's a transgression, when, when something, something is broken. But you know, he was also incredibly good looking and charming and, and he did everything right. And he, he was her personal person as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was, I could feel all the, the emotion, the angst, the confusion. I think you did a good job of painting that picture Thank you. very well. Thanks. You know what, I've been asked a lot like what books are like my book. So when we're talking outside, like I think I found, <laughs> I found the book, you know, because even when you were, um, talk, I mean, you were talking about how charming he is and um, how it was important for you to um, make sure that the reader loved the brother, the brother yeah. you know, and um, that was 
what was important for me as well, because Ayola is the person who's committed, who commits the crimes. And, you know, but it was important for me that she not be this, because it's easy for us to distance ourselves from someone who is, you, who immediately comes across as evil, but that's not true to, exactly. to life. Yeah, and a lot of the time, you know, the reality is that a lot of these crimes are created, are, are committed by people close to us, right? Like a lot of the, especially with sexual assault, a lot of the crimes are committed by people we know. Um, and we tend to distance ourselves from this idea of the, of the perpetrator of any kind of crime because we think that that wouldn't happen in my house. And I think it was important with my book, and I, I wonder if it was with yours too, to bring, to bring the criminal into, like make it intimate and bring them into the home. Yeah, because yeah, I think um, there was another story that I also didn't finish, um, but what was, it was, I was thinking about the, a lot about, um, you know, we often, we witness crimes you know, we hear about these things that take place. At the time, I was thinking about terrorism, um, and but these people belong to a family, and how, what would it be like if you, if it was someone you loved, you know, and how do you, I remember watching this, um, this TV show the other day, and it was, um, a guy was killed, but he was, uh, he was on the, it was an American show, and he was on the sexual offenders list, and, they come to tell her that her son is dead, and she says, well, I'm sure you're happy, but he was my son. You know, I'm sure, like, cause it's to you, he's just this criminal that was killed. You know, you're probably think thinking he got what was coming to him, as most of us would. But she gave birth to him. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think it's really fascinating. Yeah, because I think, I, I mean, apart from the fact that the people can be close to us, I think we're not so far, I, I don't believe that we're so far away from committing something heinous ourselves. And I think it's another way of sort of examining uh, the human condition, you know? The complexity of relationships, that's the thing that keeps reverberating just how so many aspects and so many dilemmas. But now I'm gonna read from my sister, the serial killer, and this is early on in the book. Um, I was about to eat when she called me. I had laid everything out on the tray in preparation. The fork was to the left of the plate, the knife to the right. I folded the napkin into the shape of a crown and placed it at the center of the plate. The movie was paused at the beginning credits and the oven timer had just rung when my phone began to vibrate violently on my table. By the time I get home, the food will be cold. I stand up and rinse the gloves in the sink, but I don't remove them. Ayola is looking at my reflection in the mirror. Sometimes we get calls that literally make us pause, drop everything. Like, she was in the middle of, I, I like the way you painted that scene how she had to kind of put a number of things on hold, hunger, um, pleasure, rest. This sister had a fairly tasking job at a hospital, but she dropped everything because this sister of hers called and she basically went running. Um, I, I know people ask if you have sisters and <laughs> That, that concept of my personal person, what's it about that that is at the center of this dilemma? What, do you know what, like, like that sisterhood, not just the sisterhood of friendship, but the sisterhood of, you know, birth. Yeah, um, okay, so I have two sisters and a brother, and to be honest, the girl after me, were the closest in age, were two years apart, and honestly, I think she would, she would cast me immediately. Like, I don't think she would, um, you know, she's, she's the goody two shoes in the family, so I think she would betray me in a heartbeat. Um, but, um, but I think what's interesting about sisterhood, which, you know, I've experienced, and um, I guess as I was writing this, was that, um, and I've spoken to a lot of people who have sisters, and they say yes, you know, and I think it's that, it's a common, Complex relationships. So, at times when I think I've out and out hated my sister, especially the one who's often because of the 